What is Cafe Mocha? Experts, celebrities. Hey, this is John Legend. This is Julie Idris Elba. This is Fantasia. I am Ian LaVance. Hey, everybody, it's your girl Tamar Braxton. Music and features from a woman's perspective. Intriguing conversation. The Swag Award. Espresso. The MC Light Mix. Radio from a woman's perspective. What flavor are you, baby? This is Cafe Mocha. It's Cafe Mocha. I'm Angelique. And I'm MC Light. I'm Lonnie Love. We're celebrating Father's Day weekend with the daughter of one of the greatest civil rights leaders, Malcolm X. And Ilyasa Shabazz is here to talk about her dad and her new book. And guess who else we've got? Oh. From Five Heartbeats, Cool Runners, Mr. Sexy Chocolate, Leon. Uh-oh. Look mm-hmm. at her. Plus a whole lot more coming up next on Cafe Mocha. I'm MC Light. I'm Lonnie Love. I'm Angelique celebrating Father's Day <laughs> with the daughter of one of our heroes, Malcolm X. Ilyasa Shabazz is on the line. How are you? Hi. It's such an honor and a pleasure to be on your show. I have to tell you, thank you very much. Well, thank Thank you. you. Thank you for joining us. Well, one of the things that I want to ask is, what are some of the biggest misconceptions about your father, Malcolm X? Well, I can tell you that, you know, aside of the misconceptions, my father was only in his 20s when he took on such an enormous Mm. responsibility and he was killed at 39. Right. You know, and that's a man of great compassion, of love, um, integrity, just a whole lot of great characteristics. And uh, in what ways do you think that if he were here right now, what ways do you think he'd be proud of the accomplishments we've made since, you know, the civil rights movement? Um, I would say that we would have likely made more accomplishments. Amen to that. Amen. be in a better, excuse me? We said amen, amen. to that. We're agreeing oh, oh, with oh, you. Okay. I think this would I, I, be a definitely a different space and place with his thought here with us. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I absolutely agree. It's Cafe Mocha. We're talking to Ilyasa Shabazz. Uh, her new book is called Malcolm Little, The Boy Who Grew Up to Become Malcolm X. Let's talk about that. Tell us about the book. Um, the book, oh, I, you know, I'm, I'm so excited to actually uh, finally released this book because I completed it a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about the values instilled in a child that would go on to become uh, one of the world's greatest political strategists of our time. Um, I think a lot of people, uh, they were misinformed about Malcolm's childhood. His parents played a pivotal role in his life. Um, they were both Garveyite, two young, conscious uh, activists. You know, and, you know, I often say when you are conscious and conscientious, you make sure that your children are Mm well-equipped, especially during, you know, the Jim Crow era, um, to survive, but not only to survive for self, but to also go out and be your brother's keeper and challenge injustice and anything else that was wrong in society. It's Cafe Mocha. We're on the line with Ilyasa Shabazz. And I just wanted to ask you, are you on the road with this book, with the promotion of it? Yes, I am. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And you were on the Arsenio Hall show, right? (laughs) Yes, I was on Arsenio Hall. How was that? Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, It was my first time meeting him. And it was so funny because um, when I was younger, back in MC Light. (laughs) Days. <laughs> uh, the relic years, and, right? You know, there are some people that you just admire. She is one of the people that I admire, that I really admired. L- Lonnie Love, you know, I watch her on on, on the real. But anyway, Thank you. Um, and of Thank course you. Nicole, uh, uh, Ari Parker, and Soul Food. Yes, and and this wonderful veteran producer Angelique. Thank you. Um, on, absolutely. So I'm so excited. I have to tell you, but um, Arsenio was just really dynamic. Um, his own person um, really makes you feel very comfortable and you know I just think it's great that he managed to come back and I was so grateful that I managed to be on his show Mm -hmm. because you know when I wrote I think um, Growing Up X I his show and Oprah's were the two shows that I wanted to be on Okay, and you know we know what happened but so I was just happy that I could go on the show and you know talk about uh, my father and 
uh, the values that were are really important to uh, provide for our children today. It's Cafe Mocha. We're talking to Ilyasa Shabazz. The book is called Malcolm Little, The Boy Who Grew Up to Become Malcolm X. And of course, coming up in, uh, in I guess, next weekend, we'll be honoring you at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center downtown Newark, June 21st, for our Salute Her. So thank you for agreeing to, you know, let us salute you. Oh, gosh, please. Listen. I can't wait to see you guys in person. Yeah, you too. <laughs> How do people reach you? Uh, social media. At social media, I'm at Ilyasa Shabazz on Twitter. Um, my website is growingupx.com. Um, Facebook, Ilyasa Shabazz. I have, you, you know, so I'm like, I'm all out there. Okay. Well, thank you so much. We look forward to meeting you in person next weekend, okay? Thank you very much. And we'll continue to spread the word about your new book. We are honoring Ilyasa on June 21st at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. It's a brunch, award ceremony, general treatment is hooking up your hair, Prudential will be hooking up your finances. Go to CafeMochaRadio.com for more details. Daily's up next. It's Cafe Mocha. We're on the line with Daly, who has a new single, Look Up. Love it. And a new album, Days and Nights. Can you tell us a little bit about your album? Yeah. Um, it's, it's good. Uh, it's, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, uh, well, it's my debut album. It's my first ever album. Um, people might know me from previous projects that I've released, which was uh, a, a mixtape called Those Who Wait and uh, an EP called The Alone Together EP. Um, which featured my my previous single, which was uh, featuring Marsha Ambrosius. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the album is is really sort of the next chapter in you know in in what I'm doing. It's um, it's definitely painting the picture of me uh, as an artist and a songwriter. Um, and I've had you know a chance to work with some great great producers um, like Pharrell Williams, mm-hmm. uh, who produced the current single Look Up. Um, and uh, Andre Harris, who uh, who produced um, and co-wrote Jill Scott's first album and, and some of Usher's albums, yeah, so, okay. um, and quite a, you know a few other people. But it's um, something I'm really proud of. You know, um, it's soulful, but it's also kind of I like to think of it as being a bit futuristic. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, you know, I'm here. Here, I'm here. Yeah. He's here. You know what, um, Daly? It's been a pleasure getting to know you. Will you introduce your new single, Look Up, and we're going to play it, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hey, what's good? This is Daly, and this is my brand new single, Look Up. Coming up, did you know on June 21st, Cafe Mocha is honoring Real Housewives Atlanta, Cynthia Bailey, and many other amazing women at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. This is going to be a brunch, networking, makeovers. You can go to CafeMochaRadio.com for your tickets. Up next, Cynthia Bailey once landed one of the sexiest men in Hollywood, and we've got him. From Five Heartbeats, Leon is on the way. Father's Day, I'm Angelique. <laughs> Lonnie Love. MC Light. And on the line for Father's Day, this is a Father's Day treat for Angelique. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, is it? It's actor, um, singer, musician, yes. singer, songwriter, daddy. songwriter, daddy. Leon, welcome to Cafe Mocha, Leon. My pleasure, my pleasure. How you doing, ladies? Oh, we are doing well. You know what we forgot to add to that list? Entrepreneur. Yes. 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 He's got some big things going on. Leon, Not for you. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I want to start right here. I hear five heartbeats reunion or something going on. Let's just delve right into that rumor. Well, we've had the reunion. Now you're talking about the sequel. Yeah. Or the prequel. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, you know, to be honest, you got to ask Robert Towns and my brother about that. Oh, okay. no, that's right. He, you know, he's a stick that stirs the drink. Yeah. Amen. It's Cafe Mocha. We're on the line with the sexy Devonair. Mm. One of our best top. I they... You my top three actors. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. If I was a, if you have top anything, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Leon, y'all. And you have a new movie project out called And Then There Was You. 
and right. uh, tell us about that. Um, and then it was you with um, Garcelle Bouvet and Lynn Whitfield okay. and Ryan White and Greg Vaughn, um, which just recently came out. Uh, it, it premiered at the Pan African Film Festival. Oh, nice. And uh, I've got another movie, a romantic comedy, mm-hmm. coming out later in the year that Lionsgate just picked up called I Really Hate My Ex. <laughs> <laughs> and um, everybody knows I don't hate my ex. Right, right. <laughs> And um, I finished a movie um, recently called that I started called Forty to Life, but okay. they're changing the title of it. Which okay. is, um, a drama, faith based drama. Oh, mm. good. And you also have a band. Mm-hmm. Yes, a single is out now. Um, a new single, Leon. I mean, my band is Leon and the Peoples, and a new single is called Love Is a Beautiful Thing. It's <laughs> on iTunes and Spotify. We just signed with Spectre Records. Nice. Congratulations. And uh, we have our first date, our first tour date, actually, this Sunday coming up. I'm um, headline A's Wall concert in Central Park. Good. Oh. Oh, you great. that sounds like so much fun. Now, yeah, no, definitely. And it's just, it's great to be out there because you know, I you know, when I'm an actor, mm-hmm. you know, I'm playing a role that someone else wrote. Right. You know, and I try to embody that character everywhere I can. But when I'm on stage, that's me. That's right. Right. You know, that's me singing the songs I wanna sing, singing the songs that I wrote. You know, and so yeah. it's, it's it's a different feeling, but you know, I love it. <laughs> Cafe Mocha, we're on the line with Leon. He's talking about all of the projects that he's been blessed to do. He's also talking about new music, new tour, new record label deal. And, you know, the the thing that intrigues me most is hearing the the title of your new song. We just spoke to Ruben Stuttered a little while ago, and he has a song out called Love, Love, Love. And it just seems like this is a new turn. And and I want to say to all of the listeners out there, it's very important that we get out and we support these singers, songwriters, musicians that are talking, that are speaking about love and uplifting us as a people. And not love in the bathroom. <laughs> that's what I, you okay. know, that's what I appreciate, Leon and the people. Well, stop doing it and they'll stop singing about <laughs> you. Know you. What? I'm just saying. <laughs> it's such an honor to have you on the line. Where can people find you, Leon? Uh, they can find me usually, uh, you know, in the dark corner in the back of a regular Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but, no, you can find me on Twitter, um, at Just Leon. Yes. Okay. You know, on my Instagram, which is www.justleon. Speaking of um, one of the titles of your, your movie, I Hate My Ex, I want to talk about your ex who you don't hate, Cynthia Bailey, because I had no idea that that was your ex. Well, she's written out my ex. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that term X. Okay, uh-huh. it seems like a negative term. Um, right. You know, to me, um, you know, Cynthia is like my sister. Aww. You know, she's like my family. She's never going anywhere. You know, my right. mom is at her she house. She's gonna be there. But she's at my house, and you know, we just all family. Mm-hmm. You know, her my, her mother calls me lost to this day. And, you know, it just, you know, once we have a child together, we're family. Right. right. And that's the way we look at it. And it wouldn't be any other way. So, you know, I'm not her or anybody's ex anything. You know, Cindy's my friend and my family. You have got it covered. Thank, thank you, you so much. Happy Father's Day. Oh, no. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's very nice of you. Take care. Have a beautiful show in New oh, York yes, City. I will. Okay. And I appreciate you ladies every day of my life. Oh, oh, God, I yeah. appreciate you. I'll be your sister. Mm. It's Cafe Mocha. Just nasty. <laughs> I'm Angelique, and the Cafe Mocha Espresso is brought to you by Gentle Treatment Hair Care. We honor Father's Day by honoring some of our favorite fathers and forefathers. And because they kept marching, America changed. Because they marched, the civil rights law was passed. Because they marched, a voting rights law was signed. Magic Johnson on accepting your children as they are. They're your kids. And you got to love them unconditionally, no matter if they gay, straight, whatever. And I love my son. And Cookie, we're going to support him to the end. I mean, that's right. Cedric on his son turning 13 last year. My son's 13. So, I mean, well, he's turning 13 at the end of this month. So, you know, I'm going to do a bro mitzvah for him, you know. A bro mitzvah. Yeah, yeah, that's the black bar mitzvah. You I know like what I mean? that. I like yeah, the that. Bro mitzvah, yes. <laughs> and that's how you say it, bro yeah, mitzvah. Yeah, bro mitzvah, you know what I'm saying? You're turning 13, you're going to be a man now, son. You know? Happy Father's Day. I'm Angelique, and the espresso is brought to you by Gentle Treatment, what a grown woman knows. This, this, this is Cafe Mocha. Cafe Mocha. It's Cafe Mocha. You are now inside the light mix. It's MC Light. I got Angelique Lonnie Love on standby, but I want y'all to sing this with me. 
Wrapping up the show with a light mix. Don't forget to log on to CafeMochaRadio.com and get your tickets to our Salute Her Brunch. This time, it's in New Jersey. It's a brunch. It's an award ceremony. Ruben Stuttered is performing. Gentle Treatment is doing a style lounge. Prudential is trying to hook us up and empower us financially. And there's going to be plenty of networking. Log on to CafeMochaRadio.com for more details. Cafe Mocha is a production of Miles Ahead Broadcasting in association with Cumulus Media Networks. Executive producer, Sheila Eldridge. Writer and producer, Angelique Perrin. For comments and more information, visit CafeMochaRadio.com.